how's it going i'm out here at alamo lake today it's a sunday and my plan i haven't been here in a few years so my plan is just to use texas rig because that's what worked for me last time i was here i'm at least going to start out with that try some spinner baits um some smaller deep running crank baits more like fall type baits but my plan is to stay mostly on the south side of the lake so right here mostly on the south end of the lake here I'm gonna run up here and try to get into the heavy brush also. But yeah, mostly just on the south side of the lake today. Don't know how long I'll be out here today, at least four hours. If I'm catching a lot of fish, I'll stay longer, but if I'm not catching anything, four hours is when I'll cut it off and I'll drive back home. Hopefully, it's not a bad sign, but catching a fish on my first cast of the day. A little half pound bass. That was on the silent, shallow running citrus shed. Another little half pounder. I went down to about 20 feet deep with the net head and the 5150 curly tail. So there they are at 25 feet. I even have the fish ID on. I've just been putting that on for fun lately. But right off this point. I, I wanted to stay on the south end and then the first thing I was going to do was point hop. And so they're a little bit deeper, 25 feet off this point. I did catch one shallow with the shallow running crankbait, but now I'm trying to pick off more that I see on the graph down there. I'm trying to bring that over here so you guys can see me get them off on camera. So nothing sizable yet. They seem smaller. Sorry buddy. Little guy. Looks like I'm gonna have to change my worm now. The green pumpkin, black pluck, 5150, four and a half inch curly tail. Good hook set, and I still kept the worm. My fourth fish, another like half a pounder. So I came first to this point. I said I was gonna stay on the south end, and I was gonna hit points first just to kind of point jump. And what I'll do is I'll get closer to it and then I'll back up. And as I'm backing down, I see these fish on the graph. I see these fish right here. And as I slowly back up with the trolling motor, I'm just kind of pulling and jigging this net head and just letting it rest on the bottom. And then once I feel a bite, once I feel a bite, I set the hook. Man, I love feeling them pick it up and then just set the hook. Oh, that's the best feeling. Well, they're all just clones of each other, but being able to just feel the bite, set the hook, I mean, that's the that's where the fun's at. Little half pound bass. I've caught five bass off this first point I've hit today. And maybe I lucked out. Um, went to Horseshoe Lake yesterday. A little smally. That's sick. Look at that little bronzy. A little bronze back smally. That's so sick. And I ran out of my morning dawn plasma tails. So I just put on this net head and I had originally had a paddle tail on it. 
lost that and I forgot to bring more and so I just started using these curly tails so I just happened to have this on today and <laughs> I'm lucking out Oh man, hopefully this is a better one. That one just took it and started peeling drag immediately. Looks like a better one. Actually looks about the same size. That one fought better than the rest, or harder than the rest. I was gonna make a comment that they don't really they don't really fight hard. The ones that bark fight have a lot more fight in them for the size. <sighs> Alright, I hope he survives. He survived. He swam off. I'm kind of seeing the same pattern as that other point where I caught those six. I'm gonna throw a deep diving crank. I still see him at 25 feet. And I want to see if I can catch some of the bigger ones with this. Still haven't really traveled far from where I started off. Just kind of went off that point around another in a corner and I'm here in the cove kind of a point but saw more fish kind of in that same pattern 20 feet range I'm just gonna go through work this cove just kind of quickly and I'm gonna go from the deep dive into this it doesn't run as deep and it's a little bit smaller profile and a chartreuse oh man that one hit right as it hit the water doesn't want to come up. <laughs> Not a big one. But it's a fish. Citrus shad, shallow running. I started to hear them just busting at the surface. So I was like, let me go shallow again. I hit a couple banks shallow. Didn't catch anything, but maybe I was hitting the wrong banks because caught another nice little half pounder. Dude, I hit a tree. My lure reflected, and then all of a sudden I saw this bass come up and hit it. That was so sick. He's barely hooked. Oh, there's a ton of bass with him, too. So, <laughs> I saw this pretty shallow. It's kind of clear, and I think that's why the silent is key. Uh, Sam and I figured that out at Lake Pleasant. But the silent ones work better in clear water. Um, so anyways, it deflected off a tree. I saw it bounce up and this fish just came up and swiped it. That was so sick. Such a fun catch. This fish has like red stuff all over him. That's the biggest one I caught today. <laughs> Drop shot, laying down. <clears throat> morning dawn plasma tail that's my last four and a half inch so hopefully i don't lose it this is a tiny one but what i've been able to do was i said i was going to fish the south end of the lake but i came up here north because i went all the way to the brush area where i said i wanted to go and it was just too shallow like i was at like 100 feet off the bank and or maybe 100 yards off the bank and it was like 17 feet deep but what i've been seeing today is that all the fish have been like 20 to 30 feet and uh so as i was coming back there was a lot of other fishermen on the south end i was like let me go see if on the north end if they're following that same pattern uh on points at 20 to 30 feet deep and they are i mean i'm seeing them on the graph and that's my second one i've landed third one i had i had a, i just lost one but third one that i've caught here off this point on the north end so I actually think I figured out a pattern today. It's pretty cool. Yes. It's 
soon as I got down to 20 feet deep, man, I got a bite. I just let it sit there for a while, I was wiggling it. Ow, his sh teeth are sharp. Some sharp teeth. About another half pounder. And, you know, same pattern that I had this morning. What's crazy, it's, uh, let's see what the time is. It's 11.44, so the pattern that I had at 9 o'clock this morning is still working here at 11.44. So that's kind of cool. Just drop shotting with the Morning Dawn Plasma Tail. Morning Dawn Plasma Tail has been working excellent for me. I like to use more of the watermelons and green pumpkins, but man. At Bartlett Lake and here, man, it's been killing it. Yeah, gosh, I love feeling that bite and setting the hook. <laughs> Not another big one, but jeez. Numbers today. It's better than Bartlett Lake. <laughs> this might be the smallest one of the day, too. <laughs> Smaller ones are always more feisty, too. Just a little guy. I have the six inch ones, but not many. And then I have the ones with like the little bit of fleck in them. But let's see how long this lasts. I think some other colors will work too. I really just think it's a pattern thing. So that is it. I came out to Alamo Lake today. I didn't know what to expect. It has been years since I've been out here. The drive was long. I live up in North Phoenix, so I'm lucky to live between like Bartlett Lake and Lake Pleasant. But the drive out here is about two hours and 20 minutes, which isn't bad. The drive out to Roosevelt Lake is actually a little bit longer but it felt so long today just a long straight road nonetheless i came out and it was absolutely worth it um i picked out a or i figured out a pattern the fish run 20 to 30 feet deep on points and on the south end of the lake and the north end of the lake there are actually two areas where i came and i picked off over six fish in both areas and let me show you what that looks like on the map so areas like this just where they're pointed so there, here, here's where I am at, at the north spot, and then pretty much same when I was down on the south end. Just points like this. 20 to 30 feet deep, and I ended up with uh, 17 fish for the day. About five came off, at the, probably four came off the boat. I lost about five, maybe a little bit more. Um, finesse fishing, finesse fishing in 20 to 30 feet deep. I was using the net head. I didn't catch any on the net head with the paddle tail, but I did with the curly tail uh, worm and green pumpkin black flake. And then the drop shot, um, 3 8 ounce weight with uh, morning dawn plasma tail, four and a half inch and six inch. So really fun day. It was worth it. I haven't been out to Alamo Lake, like I said, in a couple years, but I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed the footage. Stay tuned for the next one.